Every Amiibo user needs to know how to use bin files and how to make Amiibo bin file backups for later use. There's three methods to do this. Power saves for Amiibo, Android phone, and iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, but we do have an iPhone Amiibo backup guide linked in the description. If you're not sure what an Amiibo bin file is, we also have a complete guide to those in the description as well. These are Amiibo power saves. The flat part is the power saves, and the cord is not that important. This little black disc is the power tag. It's an all-purpose Amiibo emulator chip. You just plug in your power save to the PC's USB port, and then load up the program. This is the power saves program. We have a full guide linked in the description that contains download links and further explanation in case you get lost. <laughs> You've got four options with power saves. Backup, restore, apply cheats, and power tag. Backup and restore are pretty simple. See, you have a folder on your C drive called Power Saves for Amiibo. That Power Saves for Amiibo folder stores your Amiibo bin files. So suppose you had a Mario Amiibo, you would simply set it on the Power Saves for Amiibo box, hit backup, punch in your file name, and then press save. Ta-da! Now you have a bin file backup of your Amiibo that you can send to tournaments. Restore is sort of the reverse. Restore allows you to take a file that you've saved of the character currently sitting on your power saves and put it back on the amiibo. Power tag is a lot like restore, but power tags actually can emulate any amiibo, not just the character that is in the figure. So in this case, I have a min min power tag sitting on my power tag, right? And we know that because we have my min min amiibo bin file in restore. But with power tags, I can do anything. I have, these are my amiibo currently in the C drive right now. You might recognize a few of these from the amiibo analysis video. I can add any of these to my power tag and it'll function just like the real amiibo. If you're running a Smash Ultimate amiibo tournament, you need a power tag so you can scan in the competitors. Tagmo is technically not on the Google Play Store, so you'll need to download the APK file, that's the Android app file, and install it indirectly. It's really simple and it's not a danger to your phone. If you have developer permissions on your phone, continue, and if not, reference the Tagmo section of the guide in the description. That guide also has download links to the three files you need, so just go ahead and click it now. Those are the Tagmo APK, the unfixed info key, and the locked secret key. Be sure to use those download links, as I know that they're safe. Once they're downloaded, get an APK installer app from the App Store, load it, and you'll see something like this. i my APK installer app. I have installed this from Google Play, very simple, lightweight app. We're gonna hit install. Open. Allow Tagmo, allow from the source and then Tagmo boots up. Next, I'm not actually gonna be able to do anything with Amiibo, I don't need to update it. I'm not gonna do anything with Amiibo until I have added my unfixed info, oops, my unfixed info keys and my locked key. All right, you've already downloaded those from the AmiiboDoctor.com website previously. So we're just gonna go in, we're gonna find our downloads folder on our phone, and here they are. Once I see that both keys are green, telling me that Tagmo is ready to operate. I'm going to go back to the main menu, press the key in the bottom right corner. That is our NFC button, if you will. You need to make sure that NFC is activated on your phone. If not, just hit backup Amiibo. It'll automatically take you to a menu that lets you activate it. Now, you're gonna hear some scratching. I'm gonna take an Amiibo. Hold it up to the NFC point on my phone, that was a fox just now, and then hit save. And now this file right here, this little fox, is an exact copy of what I have on the Amiibo figure. I can email this to people, I can send this through Discord messages, it's actually small enough that I can text it to my mother if she wanted my Amiibo bin file for some reason. If I was going to write this to an Intag215 chip, I would then use write hold up the Intag215 chip under the NFC point. If I was going to put this back on the Fox Amiibo figure, I would do update and do the same thing. 